Hello my loves and welcome to today's mini tutorial. My name is Iris Celeste and as you see from the title of today's video, we will be learning how to add animated grass to your Roblox Studio. But before we get into today's video, make sure to comment down below other mini tutorials that you would love to see from me or check out the ones that I've already made. All links will be down in the description below. Before we continue, I do want to say that this tutorial will be super duper fast, so please pay attention as it is a mini tutorial. But without further ado, let's hop right on into the video. So the first thing you want to do is already have your road and terrain loaded in. Here you see I already have that done with some trees, rocks, but no grass. So the first thing you want to do to add some is open up your view tab and select your properties in Explorer. Once you've clicked both of these, you will notice that two tabs will pop up. Mine particularly popped up on the right side, but if yours didn't, that is completely okay, just as long as you know where both are. The next thing you want to do is locate your Explorer tab and click on your workspace. It looks like a little earth, so it's really easy to find. Once you've opened up your workspace, you will notice that there are various selections of things that you can click, but what we're particularly looking for is going to be terrain. Now this has little mountains on the background and I'll show you on the screen exactly what it looks like. It's usually always near the top of the explorer as long as you have your workspace open so it shouldn't be that hard to find. Once you click the terrain button you will actually notice that your properties tab changes a bit and that is exactly where we'll be heading next. In your properties tab you will begin to see a whole bunch of different buttons but do not worry because all you have to do is look at the top and look for the word decoration. And once you click this, you will notice that a bright blue check will pop up and you will now have grass inside of your world. Now that I'm done giving out all the steps, here are a few disclaimers if you're having a few problems. If you do not see any grass, please make sure that you actually have terrain down and not a part. If you have a part or a block, you will not see any grass changes. The second thing I want you to look out for is if your grass is moving or not. As you see, mine is blowing like wind is blowing it. But if your grass is not moving at all, that is probably because your render settings are too low and your studio probably just isn't allowing the animation to be seen. I will be showing you how to fix this in a hot second, but let me finish with all the disclaimers. The next thing you should know is that grass and leafy grass are two different terrain materials. So if you have down leafy grass and you are not seeing any grass, it is because you are using the material leafy grass and not grass. The difference is that leafy grass doesn't particularly have any grass whatsoever. So you have to switch to grass because then you'll actually be able to see it. Please do not ask me why this is just how Roblox decided how they wanted things to be and we just kind of got a ride with it. Alrighty, heading back to that second disclaimer, I will be showing you exactly how to change your rendering settings. So the first thing you want to do is look at the top of your screen for the word file. Go ahead and click that and scroll all the way down to studio settings. Next, you will see a tab pop up and all you have to do is go down to the word rendering. Once this is open, you will see at the top on your right side of your new tab, it says performance. And all you do is just have to change the editing quality to at least level 5. Now, if your computer cannot handle this, I fully recommend you not use it, only because you want to be able to see everything inside of your world, and I don't want your PC to explode. But if you can handle it, have fun. Like I said, if you can't handle it, don't do it. <laughs> but um, yeah, without further ado, um, this video is ending, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said at the beginning of this video, it's a mini tutorial, so this will be super duper fast. If you enjoyed this tutorial and how fast it was, click that like button. If you do want a slower version of this, just comment down below or slow the video down. This is a mini tutorial. This should be super duper fast and easy for you to fix. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you want next, and um, I go bye bye.